three risks of rental guarantees. Hi, it's Nero here from Investment Rise, and many people will often ask me, Nero, I'm looking to buy an investment property, but how do I guarantee the rent? Is there a rental guarantee? And I totally understand why that question is being asked, because after all, when you buy an investment property, it doesn't matter what you believe about the capital growth potential. Your biggest risk often is getting your property rented because if you struggle to get your property rented or if you have to lower the rent, that's gonna hurt you from a cash flow perspective and often send your financial goals pear-shaped. So in this video though, I wanna talk about three risks of a rental guarantee and what you can do instead. So the first risk, you can unintentionally end up buying a dodgy property. For example, in 2016, I came out and said that for the first time in years, we were seeing lots and lots of developers offering rental guarantees on their units in different parts of Sydney. For me, that was immediately a red flag because it suggested that they knew something that the market hadn't yet uncovered and it was more than likely that the market was either already oversupplied or was going to become oversupplied shortly afterwards. Well, we know what happened soon afterwards and now in 2019 the Sydney market has about 25,000 vacant properties. We're seeing the highest vacancy rates in recorded history. Oversupply is a major issue and there would have been many people who bought units or even off the plan are units and existing units who were offered a one year or two year rental guarantee who today are struggling to get their property rented. So rental guarantees can often be a red flag that you are unintentionally buying in a market that's oversupplied, which even if you can get it rented, may be okay in the short term, but what happens when the rental guarantee finishes? So that's the first risk. Risk number two, you may end up paying more for the property than you need to. Look, if someone's offering you a rental guarantee, whether it's one year, two years, I've seen some up to 10 years of rental guarantee, you've got to ask yourself, how are they funding it? Who's actually paying for it? And here's what I know now from 17 years of investment experience. The odds are you're paying for it when you buy the property because you'll often end up being charged a higher price for the property to compensate for the rental guarantee. So be careful when someone offers you a rental guarantee. You'll often want to look at walking the, the other way. And number three, the third risk is, even if you aren't charged up front in the price, then you've got to look at your property management commissions. Right? I've seen some people where they've bought these properties and the rental guarantee is, is offered as part of this whole nice package and they think great, it's a low risk safe investment until they see that their property management commissions are 10%, 15%, sometimes 17%. And all of a sudden their cash flow has gone completely sideways and this property that might have been neutral cash flow or positive cash flow is now hurting them on a month-to-month on -month basis. A rule of thumb is if someone offers you a rental guarantee, walk away from the property. Now I understand that's completely counterintuitive to how so many people think, because as I said earlier, well, you wanna get your property rented. So instead of looking at a rental guarantee though, what I do recommend is you always look at the vacancy factor. You wanna buy in markets that are under supplied. Like for example, recently one of my properties, the tenant gave notice. They gave the two weeks notice to, to leave the property. Yet before they even left the property, I had a new tenant signed up, ready to move in for a 12 month lease. Why? Because that particular market is heavily under supplied. It's got a very low vacancy rate. There are more tenants looking for that kind of property in that market than there are properties. That's the kind of market you want to be looking in because when you can find those kind of markets, you don't end up paying too much rather for the property. You don't end up paying excess in property management commissions and you don't end up buying a dodgy property. In fact, the odds are you end up buying a quality property in a quality location that's got a much better chance of capital growth. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and you found it valuable and you're thinking you might like my help to help you find an investment property, then head on over to nerocall.com. That's nerocall.com com for a free case study and then if you like what you see you can book in for a free half hour phone consult with me personally where you can find out more about whether I'm the right person to help you with your property investing. Either way, thanks again for watching.